Well, hello. Welcome to the IC Explorer Software's Fire Pump Test Program. This program will plot a, a test data and will it will develop two graphs a discharge graph and a performance test graph. We click the performance test graph, and this is it. It basically takes the information we enter and generate a discharge line. This is an FPA pump characteristic test curve, and you could plot. Uh, uh, data against a shaft test curve, a previous acceptance test curve, or an FPA pump characteristic curve if you don't have a shaft test curve or a previous, uh, in a, a previous acceptance test curve. This is your net uh, curve. A, a plot uh, amperage and suction lines. And if you want to look at the discharge uh, graph, you click it. And now we could plot the same curves. In addition to a uh, host line demand and the largest sprinkler demand of the facility, this will show that not only the fire pump is performing adequately, but it will also meet the largest sprinkler demand in the facility. It plus three points, and you could plot using uh, uh, flow meters, fire hydrants, or, or, or plate pipe nozzles. In this case, for this test, we um, would fill out the entire form, and, and then we could uh, export test data to a loss prevention report. We click export. We could either export uh, the performance test curve or the adjusted uh, uh, test curve versus demand. Let's do both. And we're going from Excel into Word. We click Next. Shows what we selected, and we're now in copy mode, and we could export into a loss prevention report by clicking Edit, Paste Special, Picture, and then clicking OK. And here is our test data in a loss prevention report. We're going to go back to the program, and we're going to we're in copy mode, we're going to press escape to exit copy mode and show you some other other features of the program. Uh, we have a pump problem uh, guidebook. If you encounter pump problem during testing, uh, such as the pump will not start, you could click the uh, button pump will not start. And this shows possible problem. And below it tells you um, what to do. Impeller is lag, uh, it tells you information for vertical pump or what could be the problem. So you could use this book to guide you in solving pump problems. And you could look at some other problems and solutions to the problems. We're going to X out at this point. You have a, a book that shows you um, what the buttons are. And then there are uh, pictures to show you how to fill the forms. And we could click next and more guidance on, on, on filling out the, the forms that will populate uh, uh, the, that will populate the output form. So we're gonna cancel out here. We're gonna go back. And now let's demonstrate. We we get the forms by clicking forms folder, and this form folder has all the forms that will run the program. Uh, you could go to um, to the flow forms just by skipping the the form folder and going directly, or you could go to the sprinkler demand. We enter sprinkler demand information by going straight to the sprinkler icon. So um, let's plan similar test results, and we do that by uh, first let's clear the data, erase. Ask us, are we sure? We're gonna say yes. So now the form is. Uh, Blank. Those uh, curves are gone. Both in uh, discharge and performance graphs are gone. They're basically uh, zero. We are um, going to uh, to to start entering information, but we're not going to enter all the previous information. We're just going to enter essential information to plot the fire pump test curve. So we click uh, open form. And for, for custom, we're just going to enter um, 
the name of the company, ABC Company, to demonstrate how data is entered into the form. We click next, and we'll click next, the company name and all the data that we have entered will populate uh, uh, the form. We, go, we have a choice, and, and the other form up and up, pump data entry form, uh, it starts by selecting the type of pump we have. We have a choice for vertical pump or a horizontal pump. We're going to test using a horizontal pump. And when we select items, a little windows up and up, reminding us what we selected. We're going to skip on the manufacturer, but we need to enter rated flow. A pump is 1,000 GPM. We enter 1,000, and do not enter the word GPM. We need to use the numbers to make calculations. The rated pressure is 100 PSI, and rated speed is um, 1780. We're going to skip um, all that information and go to next. And if we needed to fill information, we got information to enter angle gear drive, enter pump driver information, enter controller information. Now we reach the point that we need to compare pump test data to. If we had a shaft test curve or in a previous accepted pump test curve, then we enter the pressure at churn at 100% capacity at 150% capacity at this point, and then this, uh, select the accepted pump test curve or, or the shaft test curve. We don't have sh previous shaft test curve or previous accepted pump test curve, so we're going to select NF NFPA pump characteristic curve. So we compare our test result to the NFPA pump curve. Just click it. Same window. Uh, reminds you what you selected. And I would have a choice to, to, to select uh, testing using uh, pedal readings of flow meter. We're going to select using pedal readings. And now, a Windows up and also go into the uh, water flow test data for, for other for churn for our first point. And we plot in three points. All the people plot uh, five, four, six points. No need to do that. We just basically need to match three points on the curve. Uh, we'll go enter the uh, actual RPM. And the actual RPM, let's say it's the same as, uh, uh, as the pump rated. So it's 1780. If actual RPM is different, then the program will make adjustment to flow and pressure based upon the actual speed. Our discharge pressure is 150. Our suction pressure is 30. And we'll go into some voltage and, and, and amperage. Our voltage is uh, 210. And our amperage is uh, 40 amps. And, we just, and I just pick it, um, information from, from the air. I don't have an actual pump test uh, cur uh, results on me, so I just making one up as I go along. We click next, and now we enter test data to plot a second point. And let's say our, our RPM is um, 1800. Our discharge is 120. And our suction pressure is uh, 25. And we plot in a uh, we need to plan as close as possible to 100% to, to rating. We're planning from um, playback nozzles. And if you click this point, it shows you uh, the coefficient. Coefficient for fire hydrants, coefficient for playback nozzles. We're going to be using playback nozzles with one and three quarter inch orifice. The coefficient for playback nozzles is 0.97. So, and it's, this is just for information purpose. Computer will, will not pull out the coefficients for us. So we're free to to flow from one area from from plate by now. So another another flow from fire hydrants, and we'll enter whatever coefficient uh, we're using. 
So the orifice size is one and three quarters, with type 1.75. Coefficient is 0.97. Pedal reading is 32. Voltage, it's uh, 210. Amperage is 45. And we entered a second reading, Peter reading 1.75 uh, size. Coefficient 0.97. And, and another Peter reading of 32 PSI. And, and, and we're done with a second point. So we click next and enter data for a third point. Let's set uh, our RPM, it's um, 1850. A discharge pressure is 80, suction pressure is 20, orifice size is one, same, 1.75, coefficient is 0.97, pedal reading is 34, voltage is 210, amperage is uh, 50. We plotted three points, trying to get as close as possible to 150% already uh, flow. Uh, orifice size is 1.75. Coefficient 0.97. 30 uh, pedal reading is 30 psi, and then we enter our next point. 1.75. 0.97. And a pedal reading of 32 psi, and, and we're done. We click next. Uh, let's compare this. Let's set the um, sprinkler information to see the pump can can, can meet sprinkler demand. Uh, let's set uh, 850 GPM for a sprinkler demand for this facility. A sprinkler demand pressure, it's uh, 75. Uh, host demand is 500 GPM, and we click next. And here we are, we developed the curve. This is the uh, pop acceptance uh, test curve, and this is our discharge curve. And we're plotting two points and three points, but we have. Um, places to plot six point here and six point there is just that I'm not showing empty rows um, because the empty row has been filtered out. If we click on filter, we show that we could plot more 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 flows uh, at 100% and also at 150%. We could plot up to, we could enter up to 10 pedal readings at 150% and up to six pedal readings. But I'm not showing empty rows, so we, uh, we we go back to filter, and we filter empty rows out. Um, and, and that's it. This is basically demos the uh, fire pump test program. Uh, thank you for viewing it.